Since each gallon of water costs $80,000 to launch into space, finding large quantities on the moon would be a real bonanza. If you think about where are the equivalent of the Saudi oil fields in our universe, if there is frozen water on the South Pole of the moon, that's it. But tapping into this bonanza won't be easy. It'll require step nine of the lunar mission. Developing a vehicle that can cover long distances and descend crater walls deeper than the Grand Canyon. Boy, there's a, it's really rolling hills, Joe. The longest distance that they could travel from their lander was about 10 kilometers. And when we have the outpost, we need to be able to traverse to explore longer than just 10 kilometers. So we're working on a pressurized rover concept that will allow the astronauts and the crew to really traverse 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. And two sample bags, that would be... But operating in remote areas of the moon will be risky. Get far enough away from home, and getting stuck or breaking down could prove fatal. In the rugged terrain of the Arizona desert, Astronauts test whether the rover can get out of tough situations. Each wheel can turn on its own. It's a really a safety function, because if they get into an area that they just can't back out of, the rover can walk sideways, backwards, with, with a zero degree turning radius. And this new rover has other features essential for long trips. Inside the pressurized cabin, the two-man crew doesn't need spacesuits, just regular clothes. And the vehicle can support them for up to two weeks. So, uh, where do you want to head? Let's go over to that crater. Okay. One of the features of this cabin is that there's a small uh, bubble here in, in the front window. And so you can actually stick your head or stick a camera out uh, when you drive up close to a rock. When the crew finds something outside they want to take a closer look at, they can slip into a spacesuit attached to the back door. Part of the door becomes the backpack containing the life support system, allowing them to scoop up the sample and take it back to base. 